Hello and welcome to my channel. She's in the chair. It must be Joyce time. You can see I've got a few up. They were the ones I thought mm, we'll get going on those. So we'll take our first one. But first of all, let me say, if you have one of these Bibles, do pop and get it if you want to read along. If you don't, you can just sit and listen. Totally up to you. <laughs> what have we got first? His presence refreshes. Now it's on page 1761 in Acts 4.10. This is the bit we're going to be reading. See so how we get along with this one, shall we? You can see Miller just over my corner and Beringer's here. I did move a few because <laughs> they were getting a bit much. Um, that's just knitted stuff and crocheted stuff. Anyway, where were we? His presence refreshes. Acts 3.19 teaches us that times of refreshing come to us when we spend time in God's presence. Until we come to the place where God wants presence more than anything else, the devil will have an edge over us. Once we see God's truth, the devil loses his advantage. And we begin making radical progress in our relationship and fellowship with God. Most of us will try almost everything else before we finally learn that what we need is not what God can give us, but God himself. These times often represent years of frustration and misery. But thank God, his Holy Spirit who lives in us also teaches us and reveals truth to us when we continue to study, read, and listen to the word of God. If you are diligent to seek God, you will know him in a deeper, more intimate way. God will reveal himself to you. He will be found by you. See Jeremiah 29, 13. When God wants to manifest himself, he will. You do not need to get frustrated trying to find God. Just learn to wait on him and pray. God, reveal yourself to me. Manifest your presence to me. God manifests his presence in many ways. Sometimes we cannot see him, but like the wind, we can see the work he does within us. If I am tired or weary, joy speaking, if I am tired or weary, worn out, frustrated or bothered about something and I become refreshed after spending time with God, then I know that the wind of the Lord has blown upon me. God wants to bring a refreshing God wants to bring a refreshing into your life like a mighty wind. Do not be poverty stricken in your soul when the answer is so close. If you are too busy to spend time with God, then make some adjustments to your lifestyle. Do not get burnt out, upset, weary and stressed out when times of refreshing are available to you. Learn to separate yourself from the busyness of life to spend time with God as Jesus did. I tell people, Joyce, you had better come apart and spend time with God before you fall apart. I encourage you to take these words personally and act on them. Okay, so what's Joyce telling us? Well, between Joyce and the Bible, it's telling us to make time for God, isn't it? It's to stop whatever you're doing and have five minutes in his word. Now, I mean, I've been crafting all morning. But I wanted to come and have my sit time with my Bible, with Joyce, with yourselves. So I've left it. I walked away because <laughs> otherwise I wouldn't leave the desk. I'd just stay there sewing and gluing and whatever I was up to at the time. So you have to make time to spend with God. It doesn't just fall upon you. You have to make it. So on that note, I do hope you've enjoyed this short reading. You can see the sun is <laughs> coming and going and giving me light tints and everything. But you can see me, I'm sure. And it's about the word. It's not about 
what can be seen and what can't be seen. So on that note, I shall say, think about it. Where can you just get yourselves away from everything, stop what you're doing and spend time in the Word? That's what we need for refreshing. His presence refreshes. There you go. I was just say, do give us a thumbs up, do subscribe, because there's always more to come. You have a lovely day, I should say. Stay safe, take care, and it's a bye-bye for now.